baru dia tahu Itu dia mutakhir gue <coughs> Mereka dos ke yang dia Kanada me Wo dusre din election the to Election the to wo usne apni maa se kaha ke main vote dene ja raha To uski maa ne kaha yahan kya zarurat hai vote dene ki Usne kaha maa vote to dene maa maa wahan se aayi Kashmir se To usne kaha na bachcha mein ya thumba chahiye na pipe chahiye na main bijli chahiye na gas chahiye sab kuch hai to phir hum vote dene ke liye तो एक हद तक यहाँ भी इस कम्युनिटी का यहाँ के जो 64 से और 60 से आबाद लोग थे उनका तर्ज जिंदगी ये रहा कि वो अभी वोट देने नहीं जाते तो आज हम इतने खुशकिस्मत हैं कि हमारे पास कॉन्स्टर्ट हैं और माशाल्लाह ये लोग आगे जाके वेस्ट मिनिस्टर में हमारी नुमाइंदगी करेंगे तो हमें इस पर बहुत ही खुशी होती है और अल्लाह ने इनको ये मौका दिया है तो इसको आगे बढ़ाना चाहिए यहाँ तक बात की इमरान साहब के क्वेश्चन थे अगर वो जा रहे थे तो इसलिए हमने उस पर बात नहीं की तो हम लोगों को वहाँ के हालात से श्रीनगर की गलियों से और श्रीनगर और उस कश्मीर के हमें बहुत इश्यू नजर आते हैं वहाँ में बहुत ह्यूमन राइट्स वायलेशन नजर आ रही हैं वहाँ कतलेआम हो रहा है मगर यहाँ की कम्युनिटी ने कभी हमारा साथ दिया कि वहाँ जो कत्लेआम हो रहा है वो कश्मीरियों का क्यों हो रहा है और हम आपका साथ इसलिए दे रहे हैं कि कश्मीरी जो इस पार है या उस पार है क्यों काटा जा रहा है क्यों मारा जा रहा है तो इसलिए नहीं दिया कि उनको पता था कि ये दो मुल्कों के दरमियान प्रॉक्सी वार हो रही है ये किसी मुल्क की आज़ादी की जंग श्रीनगर की गलियों में नहीं हो रही है ये प्रॉक्सी वार है जो लड़ी जा रही है श्रीनगर में जो पाकिस्तान की ब्याह पे वहाँ लड़ी जा रही है और ये पाकिस्तान ने जो हमसे वादा किया था कि हम आपको तेल देंगे आपको बिजली देंगे आपको सेहत देंगे आपको तालीम देंगे तो उसने हमें क्या दिया फिर वारियत भेज दी हमारे लिए हमारे इदारे खत्म कर दिए तो ये वो क्वेश्चन है जो यहाँ का अंग्रेज जिसकी आठ आंखें और बारह आने वो हमसे ज्यादा समझते हैं इसलिए हमारे आज तक कश्मीर इशू पे बहन अवी तौर पर हमें हमारे तासर नहीं रहे और ना ही जो यूनाइटेड नेशन की रेजोल्यूशन है उन पे अमल दरामद करने के लिए कोई वहां गया इसलिए इसलिए नहीं गया कि ये प्रोक्सीज वार हो रही है वहां पे तो थैंक यू मैंने यही कहना था तो थैंक यू वेरी मच जिन्होंने इंतजाम किया और सारी विदा ले ली तो आई स्पीक इन लेक सेकेंड लैंग्वेज ओके थैंक यू Thank you very much, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll try to summarize for one minute. I won't do a simultaneous uh, uh, interpreting, but uh, I'll try to summarize some of the points. Uh, Amjad Yusuf Sab said that uh, the indigenous struggle in uh, occupied Kashmir has been oppressed for many years, and the reason been it's been oppressed because it's become a, a territorial football between all the occupying forces. Be, uh, which includes India and Pakistan, and, uh, and, and, and they are agents of state who are actually uh, um, leading so-called jihadist activities and uh, oppressive activities, which has no benefits for the indigenous Kashmiri community. Kashmiri community does not want a proxy, proxy war. Kashmiri community wants a, a political solution to, uh, to a dispute. And the Kashmiris want to be uh, involved in his own decision making. Discipline. The Kashmiris people want the right to determine the course of his own nation, and that's what, what people want. We, we, we can see on uh, daily on television that uh, jihadist activities, wherever they are, and they are killing innocent people, and there's no place for that. Thank you, uh, Yusuf. Uh, I'd like to call upon uh, our next speaker. Councillor Gulam Hussain Saab from Leeds, who's uh, who's a uh, cabinet member uh, for Leeds City Council, and uh, he plays uh, an interesting role on different committees. There are too many committees to mention, but as uh, prior to become main uh, elected member, he was a head of uh, equality unit, and, uh, um, and and played that role for many years. So he's, he's, he's been serving the. Citizens of Leeds in both uh, as a
civil servant and now as elected member, so I'd like to call upon Councillor Lamassan sir to contribute on the issue of Kashmir. First of all, I will take this opportunity to say thank you to the host, uh, Wahid, Majeer, Masood Saab, Fiyaz Rashid Saab, and the other people from Dewsbury. Thank you very much for organizing this. And can I join you in congratulating other colleagues who have been re-elected. Imran has gone, but we've got two councillors there, Councillor Iqbal and Councillor Dalkali, and your own councillor, Aaron Quinlo. So I'll congratulate them. I think the topic that has been asked before I get on that, I just make one small correction to I'm not a member of the cabinet yet. I am chair of the corporate governance and audit committee. I am on various other committees, you are right, and on the budget committee, but not cabinet. I work to, uh, don't want to leave here anything incorrectly. Uh, I am also a long standing sort of activist, you can say, on the Kashmir issue. I am chair of the uh, President of the Kashmir Freedom Movement in the UK and Europe, and also the Vice President of the Jammu and Kashmir National Independence Alliance. And I've been involved in the identity campaign in the past. And Dalit and I and other colleagues have worked together, and I continue to work with Mahmoud and the people like Amjad Yusuf and the Asa. So thank you very much for all the cooperation. I think the role of the councillor is not just for the Kashmiri community. We are elected for a vote. First of all, our duty is to all the residents of that vote, regardless of their ethnicity, religion, race, etc. And we do that with the, our duty. The other thing is that I think as a community, we don't have boundaries. If we are elected, we are not councillor just for our vote, but the expectation is that we are councillor for other votes for the city. And as it has been said, we we'll try and do whatever we can uh, nationally and in internationally on the issues which are important to our community because Kashmiris have got a particular problem which has been highlighted and all of you know and I think in whatever way we can we will continue to do our bit in the, on the council and through our parties at national and international level. I think the other important thing is that we are in a democratic framework and here we need to have a partnership between the community and people like yourselves. And one thing I would urge that the councillors who are elected, we should go there and come back and be accountable to our community and say that we have been able to do X, Y, Z on behalf of the community. Not just go there, sit there for years, get the medals and then go back and say, We've done our period. I think that goes to everybody and there is no getting away from that. So when you are choosing candidates in the future, I think it is your responsibility also to make sure that you get involved in the party system, select the candidates who are capable and when they go there, they perform. I'll just give one example. I don't know if Brother Abed Hussain from Turkey is a remembers. He and I were sent as a peacemakers in uh, older ones, um, uh, along with the late Chaudhary Walayat, uh, where there was a dispute between the two factions of a Pakistani community center there. And we spent about seven hours meeting with those groups separately and together, and we got to a solution. And then in the end, one of the counselors came along and he says, how dare you, we can't have that peace, because you don't understand the issues here. None of us was counselor, so I said, what is the issue? And he said, you know that faction that you are trying to bring back, they misused 60,000 pounds of the central funds. I said, what did they use it for? He said, they employed people, but not the right people. So I said, can you tell me what is the budget of your council? And he said, I don't know. So I told him, I think at that time it was 250 million pounds per annum. So I said, have you ever questioned how 250 million pounds is spent? Have you ever uh, questioned how hundreds of thousands of pounds are spent on other projects? So the lesson from that is that we very often pull each other's legs. We should refrain from that. We should work together. We should educate the community. And the community should educate us. And we should be accountable to them. So on this note, I think my sort of promise to you is that wherever I am, obviously, 
I am Kashmiri and I will continue to play that role. But as a councillor, I am a councillor for my ward and for my city, I must do those duty. So in every sphere, I would say, eliminate the negative and accentuate the positive. Thank you very much. Once again. Thank you very much, uh, Councillor Dulan Sensa. Um, there is no doubt that uh, when we self-reflect, uh, we can be, we can achieve great heights as long as we uh, apply discipline, uh, we move away from negativity, focus on positivity, and so forth. And, and one of the things I always say that, you know, we need to address. We, we, we live in Britain, and Britain's uh, well renowned for uh, good timekeeping. Uh, but despite that, yeah, uh, our meetings never start promptly and uh, often go on too long. Uh, although it, it, this is not the case today, I think uh, the ground rules which are set, everyone, uh, everybody seems to be applying themselves to it. Uh, and you know, once once we do that, and often they say, you know, how does society 